Hello there, Miss Johnson. My name is Dr. Mishra. I'm one of the psychiatrists that work here in the outpatient department. I've got a little bit of information from your GP in that um, you've just been uh, struggling with a, a number of symptoms. Yeah, yeah. It's, I just, it's really odd and it's really okay. difficult to cope with. Okay, well, could you share with me what's, what's been happening? Yeah, I keep getting these weird attacks okay. where I just feel really weird and I get this awful, horrible burning sensation on my scalp mm. and this horrible smell. Okay. It's just really hard to cope with. Okay, I know some that your GP's tried on some painkillers and yeah. that has a, you haven't had much luck with that. No. Um, and that you've also been tried on, on an antidepressant. Yeah, well, about a year or so ago mm. I was really struggling with my mood. Okay. So he put me on the antidepressants and they started to help. And then about five months ago he upped them because I needed a little bit more help. Okay. And, uh, and, and you've had been having these other symptoms you've mentioned uh, about five, five months, months as well. Okay. Okay, um, and and so how often are you get in these these attacks now? Uh, they're about two to three times a week. They've got a lot more frequent recently. Okay, okay, and uh, and do they occur any particular time of the day at all? Uh, no, any time, anywhere. Any time, anywhere. Okay, and uh, what kind of work do you do? I'm a teacher. Okay, and have these ever occurred at work at all? Yeah, just once during a meeting, which was really difficult. Okay, I really just need to ask you about that a little bit later on. But um, And you said that they're, they're getting more and more frequent. And yeah. How is that impacting on, on your life at the moment? Well, it's really hard because I can't expect for them to happen. So I find it difficult going out and about okay. doing things. Okay, no, no, sure, I can appreciate that. That must be quite a... Oh, very difficult. Um, could you talk me through the last time this happened? Yeah, I so, had one about two days ago when okay. I was at home. Okay. And I got this weird feeling in my stomach, like butterflies. Right. And then I could smell this horrendous smell. Like, you know when a car skids and you can smell the tyres? Okay. okay. Like that. Right, okay. And do you ever get any... Um, I'm going to ask just a few odd questions yeah. now. But do you ever get any experiences where you can see sort of flashing lights at all? Yeah, during the attacks I sometimes right, see flashes. Right, okay. And um, do you have any experiences where you've had any whispers or voices, people talking? No, okay. never. All right. And um, do you know what, if I, if I said some deja vu to yeah. you, uh, having this experience of, of having an experience before? Or, yeah, uh, actually I've been experiencing deja vu quite intensely recently. Right, right, okay. And ever had any experiences where just the world around you didn't feel real. Yeah, I struggle with that during the attacks. During the attacks. It just doesn't feel real. Okay. I mean, are you aware of what's going on around you when you, when you do have one of these attacks? Oh, I think so, but it's really hard to tell. Okay. And then, um, and then, how do these things resolve? To, you know, do they just go back? Well, they sort of go, and then mm. I feel really groggy and tired. Okay. And, I have a bit of a headache afterwards. Okay, I mean, do you ever find that you've um, bitten your tongue or... No, never. Okay, have you injured yourself in any way? No. Um, have you found you've ever been in incontinent or wet yourself? No. Nothing like that. Okay. And, and, and is that, that example typical of what's been happening? Yeah. Okay, okay. And um, do you have any other medical problems at all at the uh, moment? No, I had febrile convulsions when I was a baby, but okay. other than that... Have you had a history of um, a head injury at all? No. Okay. And um, is this the first time you've ever seen anyone like, like myself before, a psychiatrist? Yeah, because yeah. my GP was helping me when I was struggling with my mood okay. earlier. And that was the first time you'd ever seen anyone yeah. about, about your mood, okay. And um, are you on any other medications besides the... The antidepressant was uh, citalopram? Yes, yeah, I can never say it's That's citalopram. Okay. <laughs> what do you know the dose you're on? Is it, uh... About 40 milligrams, okay. I think. Okay, um, and are you on anything else besides that? No. No, okay. And uh, is there any history in the family of any, any medical problems at all? Well, my dad has epilepsy, but his attacks are very different to what I've been experiencing. Okay, okay. Um, and would you mind me asking just things like alcohol at the moment, generally? Yeah, I, I don't really drink, to be honest. Okay, so are you drinking every day? No, no not okay. at all. And then would you mind me asking the, any other street drugs at all? No, never. Okay, so never, never, never touch drugs, okay. Um, just going back to, I mean, I was sorry to hear that um, you had been feeling low 12 yeah. months ago. Um, it sounds like that time was quite stressful for you. I mean, yeah. it, did you have any thoughts about not wanting to be here? No, no, I didn't no. feel okay. like that. Okay. And um, do you drive at all? No, not yet. I was thinking about learning to drive though soon. Okay, okay. Um, but you're not, not, uh, not, not driving currently. Not currently. Okay. 
Um, have you have you yourself got any ideas as to what could be happening here? No, I'm just so confused. I just don't mm. know what to make of it. No, I'm not sure. Um, Michelle, I'm glad, I'm glad that you, you've um, you've come to see us. Um, one of the, the conditions that um, I'd like to really just um, rule out is a, is a condition called um, temporal lobe epilepsy. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of that condition before. No. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a type of epilepsy that um, we know is characterised by um, certain um, symptoms uh, okay. and, and, and some of the symptoms that you, you've described there. Because the attacks you know, are very different to my dad's. Yeah, and, and so the, the, this, these sorts of ex experiences of burning rubber uh, okay. can, can, be, um, can be reported in, in that kind of condition. We do know that... Um, Epilepsy runs in families, right. uh, and so whether the, the fact that your um, that your father has a diagnosis of epilepsy may, may be a contributing factor. Right. We also know that um, certain medications can um, bring on the condition in those that are that, that are vulnerable, and so we we need to look at whether the citalopram um, had contributed to that. Okay. Um, given the fact that as the, as the citalopram was increased up to forty. That's around the time that these symptoms yeah. first started. So, so that's something that we need to um, we need to look at. Um, the other thing that w we would need to also um, look at, I'm afraid, is if the diagnosis of a temporal epilepsy was confirmed, right. that would impact on um, uh, just some of the, the conditions about you driving, because obviously, in terms of having a, an experience like that at the wheel of a car, yeah. would, would be obviously um, had concerns about your safety and, and, and to obviously others on, on the road. Okay. Um, so that's something that we would need to bear in mind. We've only had a limited amount of time today, Miss Johnson, so I'll give you some information leaflets uh, about it, uh, and then um, I'm happy to book an appointment to see you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.